Beef farmers have seen prices fall back heavily in 2015. We're at Adam Quinney's farm, looking at the year so far and prospects for the next six months. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to say, we're almost repeating the issues we had this time last year, where we saw a fall in the price. The price towards the end of last year and around about Christmas started to improve, and we thought, good, that's going the right way. But since really sort of mid-February, we've seen week on week the prices decline. We started off at 3.70 in January, dead weight kilo. We're now down to 3.10. This is unsustainable. You know, every beef farmer you can stand one bad year, but when you get a succession of bad years, it really starts to make you think about the future and where your business is going. In May, average deadweight prices fell below their lowest point of last year, and beef farmers have seen two successive years of downturn in summer, but supplies are beginning to tighten. Debbie Butcher shared her thoughts on the year so far. We've had some difficulties in the trade uh, since the turn of the year. Um, producers have remembered uh, the situation we had throughout the summer last year when prices hit quite a low and unfortunately we've gone down to some of those levels. There's been quite a lot of speculation about what's driven that. Um, clearly supply and demand has been out of kilter and certainly you know, less in the favour of our producers. And we've seen a situation, whether it be from supplies on the domestic market or supplies coming in from some of our European uh, neighbours, um, outstripping uh, uh, demand and we've seen prices come under some degree of pressure. Adam Quinney shared his thoughts on how the industry could move forward. There was a whole range of things from technical improvements on the farm right the way forward to actually having proper genuine discussions with the retailers. Some retailers are beginning to do it, but the majority are not as yet. The trouble is, a lot of the retailers think six months is a long time. We actually need a 10 year plan, and I know the NFU and Manette Batters are working hard on this, to have a long term view to improve these genetics in this subtle herd. We've been at it a lifetime, or we'll be another lifetime at it, but improvements we need to make, and we won't make those unless we're having serious discussions with the retailers about future supply and future price. Debbie Butcher discussed the outlook for the rest of the year. Uh, with the expectation of, of a little tightening of supply, whether it be domestically or from, from, from Ireland, um, you know, one might uh, expect to see a bit of support in the market. And that's, you know, n me not going out of my way to say prices are going to start, you know, rising anytime soon, because of course I'd be foolish to, uh, to, to forecast that. But we would be expecting to see some support in the market. Of course, much will depend on, depend on what kind of summer we have, what the weather's going to do. Of course, we talk about the barbecue season, but we must remember that when we're selling a lot of burgers, what we're not selling is the, that, that prime end of the market, those uh, those higher value items. So you know, barbecue season, that we, as we talk about, can be a bit of a double-edged sword for the, for the beef industry.